local from the TV 50 News Center. Your Armstrong and Getty news break starts now. I'm Alicia Rivers, topping our Friday morning news. Selling a home is still tough during these rocky economic times, but there are signs the real estate market may have hit bottom, and from there, the only way to go is up. The signs are coming from overseas. The Bay Area is seeing more and more overseas buyers investing in Bay Area properties at fire sale prices. It may also show foreign investors believe the sinking U.S. housing market is nearing the bottom and could begin to recover late this year or early 2010. And Reval based Zip Real he says the evidence is contained in the growing number of foreign hits on its Bay Area home listings. The International Organization of Vine and Wine says people are drinking less wine. World wine consumption dipped by 2 million hectoliters in 2008. The report reveals several key shifts that are changing the way wine is made and consumed around the world. For the first time, the U.S. surpassed Italy in terms of total wine consumption. Americans drink over 27 million hectoliters last year besting the 26 million consumed by Italians. While Americans still drink less per person than Europeans, the size of the U.S. has made it the world's biggest wine market. And on the vineyard end, European vineyards accounted for less than half the world's grape production for the first time last year. Wine experts say it's obvious the world economic crisis has played a role in lowering overall demand. And make sure to tune into your turn this weekend when TV50's Nazi Javid sits down with Lisa McMahon. She's the author of a book called Fade. It's part of a paranormal romantic novel trilogy for teens. McMahon made a stop in Santa Rosa to do a book signing at Copperfield. She says her books are based on the team Dreamcatcher and are very much like the popular Twilight series, minus the vampires. Janie gets sucked into... You can tune into that episode with the author of Fade tomorrow and Sunday at noon on the Bay Area's TV 50, Digital 199. And you can tune in in just a couple seconds for a look at your weather forecast. Stay put. Live and local from the TV 50 News Center, your Armstrong and Getty news break starts now. I'm Alicia Rivers, topping our Friday morning news. Even as the death toll continues to rise, Italy is engaged in a national day of mourning today for the victims of this week's massive 6.3 earthquake. A mass state funeral was also held earlier today for the victims. Hundreds are dead and thousands are homeless following Italy's worst quake in three decades. The American Red Cross has committed $50,000 to support the humanitarian relief activities currently being carried out there by the Italian Red Cross. But there are no plans to send any Red Cross volunteers unless Italy asks. Meanwhile, Red Cross spokesperson Ellen Marmont Silver says it's only a matter of time before the big one hits here, and now is the time to start getting prepared. We go back before these things. Right now, we... For more tips on being prepared for when the big one hits or how to donate to the victims of the Italian quake, log on to arcsm.org. The federal stimulus bill will fund several North Bay recycled water projects. It's expected to save water that will benefit agriculture, irrigation, and the environment. The North Bay Water Reuse Authority says some of the water will be used to reduce salt content in the Napa Marsh area, so those areas can be opened back up to tidal action. The authority says that will reduce the use of potable water and allow it to be used for other purposes. The $100 million project in Napa, Marin, and Sonoma counties is getting $25 million in federal funds. It'll be used to build pipelines, pump stations, and storage facilities. Without the water recycling projects in place, the treated water ends up being released into San Francisco Bay during the rainy season. San Mateo County appears ready to begin regulating medical marijuana clubs. County supervisors are now reviewing a draft of new rules written by county legal advisors. Medical marijuana shops would be required to obtain an operating license. They would be prohibited from operating near schools or youth centers, and they would be required to have security systems, including alarms and window bars. The regulation comes a year and a half after the district attorney's office notified federal drug agents pot clubs were operating illegally in San Mateo. It's a look at your weather forecasts. Stay with us.